Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ken, I'm also known as The Phoenix, and you might have noticed that today's 12 p.m. upload was missing. That wasn't necessarily by design. I did have a video that I had recorded yesterday in my car, um, but I didn't feel like sharing it. Um, it was another one that was kind of doom time, kind of gloom. Um, there were a couple videos this week where I talked about a couple topics that I didn't like. So even uh, I recorded like three videos on Monday. Two of them made the cut for this week and one of them I deleted. And then uh, I recorded an, an actual video yesterday that I deleted. So I've been doing a lot of content creation. Um, and unfortunately, in this day and age, that just means turn the camera on and speak my thoughts. I mean, it's a beautiful thing for all of us that we can make money doing that. But uh, this is kind of lazy, in my opinion. And yes, it's, it's very easy. And for what I want to do, it makes sense. Because all I want to do is speak the message. Because hey, as I say over and over again, this is how we manifest the best timeline by me speaking the message by everyone speaking the message, receiving the message, taking it to heart and really just shining our light. That is how we manifest the best timeline. So I did get a haircut since last time you saw me. And, uh, that also is by design because, uh, fact of the matter is I wasn't digging the bowl cut. I used to look like Brandon Fraser from The Mummy. Then uh, my hairdresser messed it up. I went to someone else. Like, they gave me a bowl cut. The front looked fine, and it was just a, little too, a little bit too long. But uh, the front looked fine. The back was not. And then uh, I went to someone else to try to get it fixed, and they cut it a little too short. But that's okay. Overall, the haircut looks pretty good, and in a couple months, I'll be right where I need to be. So... I'm pretty good on the haircut front for a while, unless I need like a little trim here or there. Um, but I do got to level with you all real quick. And that is that while I have been doom and gloom, and I am also caught between the realities of living for the now and living for the future, um, you know, happiness now, happiness in the future, we can't have both, we have to flip flop, living in balance, all that stuff. So while I have been struggling, I, I do just want to say that um, I have heeded my advice. And that's part of the reason that I didn't record a video in the car today. Um, I actually got lunch, I just relaxed, listened to uh, an audiobook. I'm listening to Jesus in the Essenes right now by Dolores Cannon, which is a, a fantastic read or, or listen, however you prefer to consume your media. Um, if you haven't gotten a chance to listen to it or have never heard it before, absolutely do it. It talks about more than just Jesus. It talks about uh, the Essenes, who are apparently a mysterious group uh, from way back when, like 2,000 years ago or so. And um, they absolutely uh, lived in a place called Qumran. And they, like, just the way that her books are structured are amazing. And I would highly recommend this read to anybody who is interested in metaphysics and the potential of time travel and how this essentially is something that time travel, but it was like no way that we could ever conceive. It's mind-bending how it works and how you can feel the validity of it. Now, I know that like conspiracy theorists, a lot of people think that conspiracy theorists are very gullible. They'll believe anything. But in my case, I I'm looking at it. And at first, I was kind of skeptical. I really wanted to see what it was all about. But, um, you know, she says a lot of stuff that, that resonates. And ultimately, as I said, don't follow people blindly. Really just take what they say and contemplate it. Think about it. And in her case, when, when I hear her speak, she tries to fact check herself all the time. So a lot of her patients patients, clients, whatever you want to refer to them as, um, they will, she'll fish out details from them multiple people, and then she will fact check what they say um, through like historical documents. And then she's able to like, be like, oh, this person was accurately describing this. So because they accurately described this or told us this or that, then she's going to take what they what they said in their hypnotized state as fact. And it's just absolutely interesting. And ultimately, the most important thing is that it's bringing me peace. I think that's the most important thing to take to heart actually right now in the, in this day and age is prioritize your peace over everything. 
prioritize your peace over chaos. You know, we all might have that friend that uh, is just chaotic, right? And they they latch on to you and they need you for whatever it is that they're going to do. And in those cases, it's okay to say no. If that person is chaotic and they're just latching on to you and like ruining your peace and it feels like they're dragging you down, it's always okay to say, hey, back up. I, that's your, your energy is interfering with, with my peace. And if they want to make you feel bad for that, then tell them to kick rocks or something, you know. Um, when someone's peace, peace or happiness or, or whatever is causing you discomfort and you tell them that, genuinely without anger and then they they make you feel like the bad guy that's on them they don't care about you that is how you know someone doesn't care about you and I know that for a fact because I've experienced it that was my big thing that was like my struggle that was the archetype that I faced time and again time and again time and again until I got it right until I figured out what I wanted and I learned to say no without feeling bad and you know what happened My life got a whole lot better. It got a whole lot better. And ultimately, I just, I want to spread that to you all. I know no two journeys are the exact same. Finding yourself is not a linear path. We all come here with different challenges that we need to face. I say that all the time, I feel like. Um, But yeah, I guess that's the, the theme for today. You are peace over everything else so long as you're not hurting anyone so long as like you know it's not like unaliving people or things is what brings you peace i've never found peace in taking a life or anything along those lines so um don't do that (laughs) now um while i say that i i really just want to say the content might not be every single day uh there are things that are coming up as i've said i'm working on a documentary i haven't even mapped out anything i'm just gonna do it live so i don't even know how it's gonna look um and beyond that um there are certain other personal things that i need to do while i'm on this trip coming up and also i feel like every video that i do is pretty much the same it's just me saying the same stuff over and over because number one they don't get all a lot of views i I get a, a small amount of return people which i absolutely love thank you so much to each and every one of you that tune into my videos every day. But I feel like I make the same video over and over and over again. So I think part of what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm actually going to remix them into shorts. Uh, So I know that that was actually a really big push that I had was to make shorts. So I'm going to do that um, and I might scale it back a little bit. It depends just depends on how peaceful I'm feeling that day because the doom and gloom stuff, that's not what I want to promote. And again, the 3D matrix, the false light can twist. It can take your good intentions and it's designed to loop you back in to suffering and to itself and and pushing out the lower tier stuff. That could be because, you know what? Negativity brings clicks. That brings views. I suddenly found myself becoming like driven by wanting views because that's what you do on YouTube. You crave attention, right? You crave attention. And I, I identified that really quick and I'm pulling back. I, I don't care. I just, while I want to be authentic and there are days I'm going to struggle and I'm trying to be as transparent about that, I don't want to get in a, a spot of constant negativity solely for clicks. And I feel like that's where I, I could have potentially been headed and I needed to head that off. And I did do that. Um, so yes, that is how I achieved my peace. And now I hope you all can take that to heart. Really sit with yourself and, and figure out what is bothering you. Figure out why it's bothering you. And figure out how to resolve that situation. Because ultimately when you resolve your conflict, you will feel lighter. When you let that emotion out, you will feel so much better. And when you feel good, your light is on and you can spread that light to others. Again, your external reality all stems from you. And that is always going to be the message. So everyone with that, I'm going to leave you all, bid you adieu. Uh, That is always the message. That is always the message Because if you're watching this, you're on the best timeline, and together we are all going to manifest that best timeline. So everyone, again, my name is Ken. 
I'm also known as the Phoenix. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.